when I was young, I used to think that uh, successful people have rare talents and skills and gifts that the rest of us don't have, or perhaps they have um, circumstances or position or status or a tremendous amount of luck that you and I uh, don't get to enjoy. What I've learned is that none of that's true. The number one determining factor for whether or not you achieve is how much want to do you have. And I've learned this in my life a thousand times. If I'm not getting to where I want to get to, the bottom line is I don't have enough want to to get there. And whatever it is that I truly want, I will somehow, some way, do or be, whatever I have to do or be to will it into existence. If you're not getting where you want to get to, pure and simple, bottom line, you don't have enough want to to get there. So you got two options. Number one, figure out what would need to happen for you to reignite the fire that you need to have enough want to to go after that achievement. Or perhaps throw that idea out the window, change direction, and go toward a different goal. Either way, it's all about having enough want to to be able to get there. And if you don't have it, then all the worry, all the anxiety, uh, all of the wringing of the hands and the analyzation in the world is not going to get you there if you don't have enough want to to go after it. And ultimately, that's what I want for you. Whatever it is that you want to achieve, I want to help you get there. Find us at thecrabtreegroup.com. Go to YouTube, click subscribe, share, 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 and everything we do will go directly to your inbox. I'm Sean. I'll see you next time.